actually, when people have um, a, what's called a DEXA scan, or if there is a fracture and they end up, an unexplained fracture especially, and they end up um, getting a, a medical scan called a DEXA scan done, it is to check to see uh, kind of bone density and where you're at in relation to normal. So essentially, every two years, um, you can get a DEXA scan to see if um, your bone density is maintaining, building, or if you are losing. So a couple of weeks ago, we had kind of talked about the natural um, life cycle of bone. We reach peak bone mass at about the age of 30. If we're healthy and active, we typically maintain that mass until about the age of 50 or menopause for women and until about the age of 65 for men. And then the average person will start to lose about 1 to 3% bone density per year after the age of menopause. So typically, um, hopefully you're not diagnosed with osteoporosis after a fragility fracture or an unexplained um, fracture, but typically at the age of 65, one of the screening tests that's done when you go on to Medicare is what's called a DEXA scan, checking for uh, your level, your uh, bone density. And that DEXA scan is essentially an x-ray that's used um, to measure the bone density of two areas of weight bearing in the body. And that is our spine, the lumbar spine, so our lower back, and then our hip joints. And the bone density that is measured out of that x-ray is converted into what's called a T-score. Um, you're also given a Z-score, and I'll cover that in just a second and how we use um, a Z-score. But essentially, those numbers are converted into a T-score. And a T-score is then what is used to diagnose either normal bone density, osteopenia, or osteoporosis. So osteopenia is um, essentially low bone mass, but not low enough that it's diagnosable. Osteoporosis is the point at which you become diagnosable and the point at which we really get concerned about um, fragility fractures in either the spine or one or both hips. So I have a little graph here. Um, we're really high tech, but I have a little graph here that kind of explains, this is also posted in the comments, but I'm going to explain um, what we mean when we say T-score. So essentially, this is just like a stoplight. Green means go, green means you're good to go, yellow is your warning, and red is the diagnosis. So when you get a DEXA scanner, if you ever hear about people's T-scores, anything from negative one T-score and above or greater than that is normal bone density. And very roughly, an easy way to kind of think about a T-score is that number, whatever your T-score is, can be correlated to like a percentage bone loss. So if you have zero, if your T-score is zero, it's normal bone density, and there's been zero bone loss. If you have a negative one bone de or T-score, you can kind of roughly correlate that to about a 10% bone loss. If you have a negative two or 2.5 T-score, that's roughly 25% bone loss. So from negative one and higher or better, that's considered normal bone density. So up to about a 10% loss in bone density is considered normal. Um, negative one to negative 2.5 is considered osteopenia. So you have low bone mass, but you're not technically considered into the osteoporosis range. It's essentially your warning sign. And if something isn't done, um, you will continue to lose bone mass and eventually end up in the osteoporosis range. That is roughly, those T-scores roughly correlate to about a 10 to 25% bone loss. And then a negative 2.5 or lower, negative 2.5 or worse T-score or 25% or more bone loss is diagnosed as osteoporosis and that's when we get into this red area. And the big deal with osteoporosis is those bones become very weak and very brittle. They become significantly less dense. And so they be the risk of having a fracture in those bone sites, um, in those regions of the body, the weight bearing joints becomes um, a real concern. And compression fractures in the spine or obviously breaking a hip have massive impacts on your quality of life. Um, and there's actually about um, a 50% mortality rate 
within the first year of breaking a hip. So that's roughly what those T-scores mean. So when you get a DEXA scan, you're going to get a T-score. And a T-score for you is your bone density converted into a negative one, negative 1.5, negative 1.8, whatever. Um, but it's your bone density compared to a healthy average 30 year old of the same sex. And the reason they use a T-score of a 30 year old is because we reach peak bone mass. That's the best it's going to get um, at the age of 30. So your T-score is comparative to the age of 30 because we want to know how much bone loss there has been in the interim from 30 years old. There's also another number that's reported on DEXA scans and that's called a Z-score. And a Z-score is your bone density compared to a person your same age of the same sex. And it's more just informative, just so you kind of know where you're at with the average person of your same age, but we don't use that Z-score um, to come up with a diagnosis and we don't use that Z-score to um, kind of convert into a fracture risk. So. I hope that kind of clears things up. What we're really looking for at OsteoStrong, if people are coming to us or doing our program and their goal is to either slow or stop bone loss or slow or stop osteopenia or osteoporosis and then certainly you know reverse it, we like to have that baseline DEXA scan um, just so that we know where they're starting. We know how um, kind of high risk they potentially are for injury, but then also Within two years when you get another DEXA scan, that's how long um, it takes to rebuild bone tissue in any marked way that we would be able to see that on, on, on a, an objective test like a DEXA scan. Um, so whether you are doing OsteoStrong, using um, medications, uh, prescriptions, however you're approaching um, treating a bone disease, um, a low bone density disease, it's approximately two years minimum of that therapeutic um, intervention to see any kind of change. So you get a DEXA scan every two years. So here we really like our members to bring their DEXA scans in when they first start and then of course when they um, have a repeat DEXA scan so that we um, can kind of see how that intervention has been going and then we can correlate that with their T-scores. So fun, um, we actually just had our 50th um, DEXA scan brought in yesterday uh, where there was an improvement with our members, so we celebrated that quite a bit. That's awesome. It's the whole reason we're here um, with our bone density members. So I hope that kind of clears things up. We get a lot of confusion with people who've had a DEXA scan. They don't know what it means. They don't know what a T-score is. The reports themselves are typically pretty kind of convoluted. They're really difficult to read. So just really what you need to know is a T-score is you compared to a normal, healthy, 30 year old and anything above a 2.5 is um, a negative one to a negative 2.5 warning sign we need to be doing something and um, that's osteopenia low bone mass and then of course anything 2.5 or lower is osteoporosis and seriously needs to have um, an intervention of some kind done.